This is how I live. I live. This is what I love. Oh. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of. Welcome to my life. This is what I love. This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of. Music love life. Crystal Jordan, be honest in myself, Mr. Kevin Davis. We are music. Love life. So you, and welcome to another episode. <laughs> so you're a mister today? Yeah. And <laughs> how you gonna say yeah, cool like that after he did all that other stuff? Hell yeah. <laughs> this, I feel like I'm at the circus. Well, I wanted to, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing, I'm, I'm, I'm a... You're going to do voiceovers? Yeah, I'm going to do okay. voiceovers. So okay, you know, so if you're like, the announcer, who's right. the clown and who's the MC between me and Crystal? You're trying it out. You're trying it too early in the show, be honest. Hey, man. <laughs> too early Look, in the show. I'm going to just toss that ball in the air and see which one of you catch it. It's the wrong day. It is the wrong day. <laughs> Clowns wear makeup. I don't have any oh, makeup on. Oh, 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 oh. You got on red you shoes? You don't have your, uh, your hairdo in. A hairdo. What, are you, what happened to what your hairdo? What are you talking about this don't hairdo tr- thing? You know what I'm talking about. Oh you, had a, you had cornrows and an intricate bun. You know, girls always care how you wear your hair. I didn't even notice. I didn't even you, notice I didn't have it. <laughs> Negro, please. It you, takes you, like 10 minutes. It's not like you're you acting like I go to different. a... First of all, we walked in and you were sitting here like, are you guys going to notice my hair? Are they going to notice my hair? You act like I go to a salon. My wife just braids my hair real quick. It's not even the first. I've ever seen that done. Don't act like don't don't try it. Don't try it. You you wanted us to notice your hair, dude. You know he ain't we got did. no haircut right now. It's an off day. He yeah. actually Y'all is. Off it's, days. it's it's shorter than it was before, right? What do you mean? Is your hair shorter? No, it just... it's, I got shrinkage. I think they call it shrinkage. Yeah, you all are familiar with that term, right? <laughs> yeah, it's shrinkage. <laughs> it's actually very long, but it's just you know it's, it's shrink. It's shrunk yeah. up today. Okay, I just thought to, I thought that was going to be the new look. I mean, you know, I do some days. I do some days. I don't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we'll see. I still see, man. You you trim this up real thin, dog. You can look like you in the Terror Squad. No, I didn't. I didn't keep I, the links. True life. I, I didn't do any of these things you guys are accusing me of. I was just regular. I didn't day. accuse you of anything. I just wanted to know where the hairdo was. I'm, honestly, I think that I care less than you guys assume that I do. You, mm-hmm. the way you guys are play, painting this picture, you sure? Because you're the one that's movie star handsome. No, but that's natural. I just wake. I wake up. I wake up with that. That's, you know what I'm saying. You just you just wake up, man. I didn't. I didn't want to say the Beyonce thing because I know that's where you wanted me to go. Um, but that's that. That's your crew. You see, you want to say you woke up like this? I just. I just. That's you know. I woke. I woke up. See, that's how I know your manhood is working properly. How's that? Because anytime when your manhood will kick in and say, mm, "No, can't say that." Mm, mm, <laughs> I see where you go. Mm, nope. And it backs up. Yep. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, have a lot like of, if you ever have you ever asked a man to a- ask his friend like, "Yo, is your friend cute?" He'd be like, "Yeah, they act nah." Like you don't know. Now there's some guys that be like, "Yeah, he's cute." Well, you like, "Yeah, he's sexy." What would you do if you, somebody said that? I'd probably <laughs> like, okay. Nah, yeah, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> You're, you're gonna enjoy him. That would be a little. <laughs> you're gonna That's enjoy him. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I have had a guy say he just kept talking about how good looking the friend was, and I was like, "But how do you even? What is?" How do you, what are you rating this on? Maybe a lot of women yeah. think that he looks good or something. Maybe, yeah. And he's been around and felt like... But you like, know, you know if you have a friend that's that's handsome. Man, you, but you could say, you could say like, I mean, he could pull some, you know, I mean... That's, that's, that's a really cool... That's about as far as you can go. That's a really cool answer, I'm not gonna he lie. He could pull them. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm but, but, but you can't be. Oh, he's cute. We all know that you ain't got to be know. attractive to pull women. You can at just be all. funny and have money. Very true. That at, yeah, at all. Very true. Yeah, we're off of that. And that's why pull is an acceptable term. Okay, <laughs> it's an acceptable man. I term. got you. Because the the money, it's like gravity. It just they, right. It's like a tractor beam. Right. Mm-hmm. They can't it's get away magnet. from it. You can't get away from it. Mm-hmm. It's your weakness. But you can't, as a woman, you it, it's not. If a woman is not attractive, she's gonna have some lonely nights. Yeah, true. Women, yeah. The, all your all your stock is in your look. So tighten and it up. And you've heard it here first, guys. Tighten it up. Get it tight. Your, all your stock is. I in won't your say looks. all your nope, stock all. because hold on, because there, there's still like nerd guys like nerd girls. No, they don't. They're just hot nerds. No, they don't. What? They're, yeah, no, they don't. Yeah, nerd, they do. nerd guys like the Comic same books. girls that you. Nerd guys like comedy. Yeah, but nerd, like but nerd they guys they made, know that they don't have a shot with the They will common. after they earn their money. Nerd guys after like... After they earn their the purse, the money, then they'll be able to have better guys than the jock. That's, we all know well, that. There's no time for literature and vagina. It just That, that doesn't mix. It's that just, is not... Tr- well, first of all, I think that if you continue to do the literature or whatever your nerd thing is, if it's tech or whatever, mm-hmm. if you make enough money, then you, ha- you, ha- you have all the options. Nah, most nerds aren't bosses. Nah. Most nerds are workers. 
Nah, I saw, uh, matter of fact, I saw a picture today of Rihanna was cussing this dude out. The billionaire. She had, right. Yeah. With the That's finger, why she's going to keep him. With the finger him. here. Because she's not treating what? him like, she's not a treating him like every other girl. The dude got a girl. billion dollars yes. and he's still not respected. But the reason that he is staying with her is because she is still, most women are probably going to just be sitting there like this if they were a billionaire like. And she just ratchet with it. And him. she's just being herself, which makes her all the more amazing. She's dope, actually. Mm. Rihanna's dope. Has no, Rihanna, she has Rihanna no class. Rihanna is dope. Rihanna's dope. Rihanna is gorgeous. However, somebody It's a lot of somewhere. gorgeous women. It's a lot of gorgeous right, women. Right, right. No, and somebody somewhere they make them every is day. full of Rihanna shit. That man obviously is not, and he matters the most because he's a billionaire. Rihanna, somebody not somewhere told Rihanna, shut the fuck up. Leave Rihanna was good because she's with a billionaire. She's good. She's good. Trust me. Is she? We don't care about It looked about like that. she was mad a moment ago. She's going to be fine. When she was throwing the finger? But that's just to let him know that I'm still time. not going to take shit. That's not to uh, say that I'm going to go find another broke dude. Who does that? I don't, I don't think Rihanna's gorgeous. I think she just has that thing. But that's the point. Like, every beauty's in the eye to behold her. No, but, she's, just, she's not gorgeous. She just has that thing. It's not about beauty in the eye of the beholder. What's that thing? I don't know. Sex it's, appeal? It's, yeah, it's, so, it's, it's something that you can't, it's no tangible to that, the sexiness that she has or something. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, I, most women would have sex with Rihanna. True. Even if they're not, even, even if they're not bi-curious or lesbian, they still would. Just because, what does like, that have to do with how anything? do you turn that down? <laughs> what? I don't even know what that, what does that have to do with anything? I'm just saying that she has something that's not about looks. Oh, okay. okay you're saying she has that it, that je there's some, quoi. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't use that word because that's, you know, not, but, but there's something that's going on underneath the hood. And you can't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's a better way than saying that it or je ne sais quoi, something yeah. underneath the hood. Because I still get to keep, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> my thing by doing that. But if I start, if I start saying words like je ne sais whatever, then that makes me different under the hood. She's. Dun, dun, dun. I think she is gorgeous. I think she is gorgeous. Said, say whatever. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You go. You go. tap dance all the way around that. Yeah, Genesis. All right. So, <laughs> Rihanna is is still holding it down with the billionaire. We, God, Godspeed, Rihanna. I want you to stay in there and lock that in. In fact, just do what you want, but don't. Lose hey, man, it. don't put up with her shit too long. It ain't gonna work forever. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. it doesn't need to work that long. Somebody's fed up with her shit. Somebody Nobody somewhere. is fed up with I it. I guarantee you. I bet is, she left there's before. There's somebody in the island somewhere that like, Rih shit, and Rihanna's Rihanna. Okay. Watch. <laughs> okay. Somebody somewhere is like. I would fuck Rihanna. That's what they're saying, really. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Who cares? No, so now I, I got to talk about this. This is the weirdest thing I've seen on Social media in the last 24 hours, because there's always something going crazy. Did right. you guys see the Nas and, and DJ Nabs? From the periphery. I haven't gotten in deep into the... the yeah, please, I, let's go I into it. I heard about it. it, but I'm like... Can we uh, please... Can we? Because I have a question for you guys, right? Well, first of all, Nabs is an Atlanta guy. La Nabs is a DJ, a, a very prolific DJ here in Atlanta. I don't know like if a, he's from Atlanta, but he's a definitely an Atlanta guy. Yeah, I don't guy. know if he's from Atlanta, yeah. but he's definitely like one well of the known. dopest real DJs. His roots are like, here. He's... The real thing, right? Right, but I don't know that everybody knows who Nabs is. He's he's fairly well known, though. I, he's I think like that's... so so. I mean, he's 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 done some amazing things. He started out as the with... Brass DJ, right? I don't so know. Just to know, I know how, far so, so back it, how far back it goes. He's like, okay. he's Maybe got even roots. Because he's with Criss Cross. Okay. Like, he's with So So Deaf for a long time. Yeah, he's got roots in Atlanta and in hip hop. So, okay. yeah. So, Everybody... that give you an idea of, you know, his background. And he's, I think he's on Boom, the station here. He's on a radio station here. That don't matter. Boom. It's. That doesn't matter. Don't don't listen to that <laughs> detail. That detail means nothing. I was just giving you a current. Edit that out. I was just no. <laughs> right. I was just letting you know where he's at right now. Boop. So okay. So 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 DJ Nabs. I got to tell the story the way it happened on okay. social media. So he <laughs> he um, talked to Page Six. I he went to a a, a, a credible. Well, not credible, mm. but definitely a yeah. gossipy. Real gossip site. He didn't do TMZ shade room. Yeah. TMZ Junior. Yeah. TMZ Junior. Yeah. TMZ Junior. He didn't do shade room or anything like that. And he he put out an open letter explaining that his that Nas was creeping with his girlfriend. Right. So actually, one of my friends sent it to me. I didn't believe it at first. I was like, no. First of all, I don't know any guys that tell when they get cheated on. Like usually they kind of keep that in the you know in private and and then maybe like right. break up with the girl, but you don't just like tell everybody about the fact that you got cheated on. But right. he put an open letter out and explained that this was his girlfriend. They lived together. There was a night that she did not come home. And when he questioned her about it later, I guess he got some intel. 
she acknowledged that she was with Nas. She did not lie. She said that she was with Nas. And so he was upset. This happened several times. He's heartbroken. <laughs> and people were just several. like... Yeah, several times. Okay. So people were <laughs> like, oh my gosh, you know, All DJ right. Nabs, he has a he has like a reputation of being a really cool guy. You know, I've from I've known him from work experiences, but he's always seemed really cool. You've never heard any I've never heard bullshit. anything negative about Nabs. Ne- never. 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 Honestly, never. Never any negative he criticism. He just has a nice guy yeah. persona. Like right. just you like him, he's cool, he's very dope at what he he's does. He's good at what he does, right. And then he's always, you know, he speaks to everybody. He just seems like that cool dude. Like, I never expected this. That sounds very surface level. It is, because I don't know yeah. him personally. That has like, nothing to do with not... it, him being cheated on has nothing to do with... No, no, no. You're talking about the four-page letter. I'm talking about the fact that he would, like, share the letter. I didn't think he would do something like the that. four-page letter but then, on page six. There was yeah, a he second, kicked that, he there was a that second Aaliyah. piece to the story. So come mm-hmm. to find out, he was married. He had a whole wife. Right? A whole wife. A whole wife. Not, not a half wife. Not, not a half. Or just not, a wife. But a whole wife. And he cheated on the wife with this girl. Right. Okay. Then he left the wife for the girl. And then the girl left him <laughs> for Nas. So then I was even more confused. Like, why is he even... Isn't that just called karma? Isn't that karma? Um, no. Oh, oh, old people. Karma? Old people have a phrase. I, I hate to say it, even old people with that. But Does it start with Genesis? Say something. You, no. No. Oh, okay. Don't it, say You that. get them how you you lose them how you got them. Exactly. That's not true. Exactly. It, no, that is true. That's that that is true. Usually I believe it's true that. with women because usually a woman would be like, "Oh, he she ain't taking care of her man," and you know you'd be like, "Why you can't be cheating with somebody?" Oh, well she ain't doing what she's supposed to do. Blah 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 blah. And then next thing you know, then you get with him, and then of course he does you the same way. It doesn't usually happen to men because men don't. Don't usually share what, their man, embarrassment in a public. somehow uh, exempt from karma? No, but they just nah. don't share it. How is this embarrassing? You don't think it's embarrassing for not for Nabs? Well, he wrote the letter. But you don't think? Would you? Would you? Would you suggest to your guy friend to share that he was cheated on? But first of all, no, no female is even confused about why she cheated with Nas. Hold on. Well, let's we understand. Just, Nas is fine. Granted, I I, I give you Nas that. Nas doesn't but, age. I mean, let's just be for real. He's any fine. any type of <laughs> of I don't know any 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 head. type of talking any any <laughs> type of when men get to doing this, it ain't never. It's weird, it ain't right? Never good. What about when they start good. writing letters? That's. That's that's a violation of the code. I wonder, did he You played yourself? Did he, he played say, he played himself in, in a number of himself. circumstances. Did he say open letter? One, he left the wife. Six. The yourself. fact that there's a whole interview and and he and he wrote out the details. I don't know what retribution he wanted. I, there are people that are taking his side, saying, "Oh, they feel bad for him." And, I mean, I feel bad see, for him. But how do you feel bad for him? He left his wife. Yeah, it was over. So then the wife actually V103. They talk about it this morning. Mm-hmm. They call the wife. Now, the wife was hurt. She walked away respectably. She didn't write an open letter because if she had come out and say that DJ Nabs was cheating on her with this Instagram model or whatever the girl does. Yeah, like, who's DJ Nabs? No, people know who DJ Nabs is in Not in the whole world. In Atlanta, yeah, not in the Atlanta. whole world. Yeah, in Atlanta. But she could have definitely put him on Front Street. She could have hit the shade I room up I feel bad for her, too, though. Don't Are you give me sure? A, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel okay. bad for her, but I also feel bad for Nabs. I don't he, feel bad for him. He invested time in this relationship, and, you know. He planted bad seeds, and they came home. Which, the chickens came seeds? home to roost. Which seeds? Which you ones? do not cheat on your wife with a chicken. He leave. left his wife. He didn't cheat on his wife. He left her after nah, the he cheating. Cheated and, first. Yeah, he cheated he first. Cheated. Okay, so. If he, if he was leaving the wife, he felt like he okay. had a good situation so, he, here. But he made sure that was straight. He and thought that grass was green. All you righteous people. Awful green. All you righteous people sitting at this table right now, you're Telling you you've never been in a relationship and started a new relationship when that one was towards the end of it. No. No. I walk away first. I ain't got to cheat. I have not. Oh, Donnell Jones. I'm for real. What does that have to do with anything? He'd rather leave than to cheat. I get it. Yeah, that's, I good, be. that's what you're supposed that's, to that's, do. That's that keeps, really. No, that you keeps your karma good. But if you don't, I could sleep easy. I'm and not even tripping. Indian. I'm what not are you even talking tripping. about? No, no, no. If you do, if you if you leave one, leave your wife. There's a lot of men that do it. Cheat on your wife, cheat on your girl. But when it's when it comes back around, don't bitch up. Oh, I'm not saying that he should. That's what I'm saying. Like, why are you writing an open letter? What about her open letter? Now, that's see whack. that. But see, like the whole telling, well, man, she cheated on me and this and that. Man, that's, I wish I had my referee shirt on. I throw a flag. 10 yards penalty, unmanly night conduct. There you go. And what I, what I would like to say is to the wife, and again, I'm a fan of, I, I like DJ Nabs. This is not personal. But to his wife, karma had your back. He left you for a chick that, you know, whatever. 
So hold on. She no, no, no. left him for a star. Like we, for we real, can't for real. start. We can't start the story there. If we're we gonna start it, yeah. if we're gonna keep going back, we need to figure out why he cheated on his wife. Maybe there. Maybe it was personal. Maybe that what? was personal. Maybe the reason why he cheated on his wife was because of her. It was I'm probably not the same was. reason that the that the new chick cheated on him. And and, and, and let's just be for real. How do we know that Nas is taking this chick seriously? He probably isn't. But you just said that. So the cycle continues. Hold on. We got. That's people. not. I mean, he's not. There's an unfair happening. What you said. All the women know why old girl left him for Nas because Nas is a star and he's fine, right? Yeah. So I'm just saying it wasn't a surprise. Like, okay, be like, okay, but okay, chick, but, she's okay, on so DJ Nas. Notice with, how, notice how the women you're taking out of the fault on I'm both just, sides. No, no, I'm not. I don't, I don't, I don't think anything is. Mm. I don't you see think, that, no, right? No, mm. Okay. I, I don't think cheating is right, but if you do, he's a star. He's fine. If fun. you do so that was happen, just said a ago. <laughs> if you do so happen to slide into a situation and you have to cheat, you definitely would want to do it with someone that looks like Nas. So, so what if she cheated with Jermaine Dupri? Uh, but then, look, then that Nabs wouldn't be mad. We what? see the picture of Nabs' <laughs> wife, and we see the picture of Jessica. She yeah. looks better than his wife. Uh, I didn't say that. I did. You said Nas was fine. On, Why can you say that? Hold no, on, I just said I didn't on. say it. Don't put me. I didn't say that. I think it's the in wife our is, group text. Let me see the photo. I think the wife it's is in our beautiful. Group te- no, the wife is is nice looking. <laughs> you, you, but if you have, if I have to pick, I'm picking Jessica. If I don't know either one of these women, I'm picking Jessica. But the fact that she's the wife means that oh. she should get it more. You don't, you can't go comparing. You're trying wives to get. You're trying to let these women off the hook for it, by any means them. necessary. First of all, the wife doesn't need to be off the hook. You are Malcolm the X. Doesn't need on, to be off the you hook. are Malcolm X on getting these women off the hook. No, she's good. She didn't do anything. She don't need to Who be didn't? off the hook. The wife. You don't good. know that. Yes, I do. You don't know that. You're telling me there are no difficult women in marriages. I'm sure every woman in a marriage is difficult. You're telling me there's no situation ever that warrants cheating ever. I don't think there's any anything that warrants cheating because you have the ability to leave. If you're that he unhappy, did leave. He did. But mm-hmm. you don't you don't you don't start well, you know you what don't, he did. And you, karma, exactly. karma gave him no, what he put out. You don't go get a you don't quit your job till you get a new job. Everybody knows that. Why is it different in relationships? You are, you are share you you are, you know what? You, are you quitting you your job without, without another source of income? <laughs> no. Exactly. <laughs> Who got somebody gotta cook dinner? Somebody got to, you know what I'm saying? I, well, I don't want to miss what? one dinner. Now what is he going to do? I don't want to miss one now dinner. Now what is he going to do? <laughs> what is he going to do now? I'm hungry. I don't want to miss one dinner. He's mi- well, he missed one because she would spend the night with Nas. Yeah, well. Nas probably didn't make More it. More than once, day. obviously, if you yeah. say, like, he kept taking it back. It's a, it's a, he, he, he. he I know how Nas dictates. Hey, I ain't, I ain't saying, I'm not saying that the, that Jessica is more attractive. No, you are. But I think she yeah. has more Instagram <laughs> followers than the wife. So what? That is not, what does that mean? She's got more followers. You have fallen into the social media trap. Hey. I like it. Who we cares? Got, we got to judge him on something. If, we're, if, hey. if he's not going to be brave enough to say she looks better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and I know why he's so not. Whack. I know why he's not brave enough to say it because yeah. no, because we. If you look at these two women, one of them is more Afrocentric. Oh my God, and you so, are really gonna go there. And you <laughs> are gonna do it. Gonna it's, do against, it. it's against his tip. He has to. He has to say. Oh, I don't know if she's more attractive. Okay. She's just more attractive. Let me ask. Let me hey, ask you something. That don't mean that the light skinned one can't have some faux dreads. That's or not something. a black woman. <laughs> this might be faux dreads. That's not a black I don't woman. Know either of these women. That's not a black right. woman. All I know is Nabs no, got more black. forehead wrinkles. Jessica's, no, Jessica's black. not black. Let me see the picture of her. She's definitely black. No, she's Jessica not. is black. No, mm-hmm. she's not. Look her up. No, she's well, not. She's not. What is she? She's not. I th- she's Hispanic. Look her up. She, she's not black. Man, don't you know Hispanic people Any- are black too? <laughs> you are letting everybody in recently. Everybody. Like, everybody. everybody. Oh. Armenians. What you got, bro? Right, what you on. got? Come on. Come on with it. We started the planet. What you want? <laughs> okay, oh, let me wow. ask you a question. I'm going to see if you can be honest. All right. I'm not, asking, I'm not even talking to you. Okay. Do you <laughs> do you think that some African American I mean. men <laughs> Do you think that some African American men have the have the thought process that once they achieve a certain level of success, a woman who is mixed of mixed race or exotic as far as being Hispanic or non-black is a good look for them? You need to ask that question Don't better. Don't do it. You're asking me I'm if asking a non-black you, do you think, woman is Do you think that some black men uh-huh. feel like if they get a woman who is Mixed of mixed race and has an exotic look, so she's not just full bred African American. That that's a better look. You for might them. as well just ask me if some black men like white women. I didn't say white. <laughs> and yes, I'm not they saying do. white. I'm not saying white. I'm saying that when uh, I'm saying no, money, let me just like unblurry I'm saying money. It for you. No, no, no. Have you seen the meme that's like this is a starter wife? This is a starter wife when the mm. rapper or the athlete doesn't have any money. Like like Biggie's first baby mama. 
And then... And then came faith then when came he got faith. some money? At is that what... Right. So I'm saying, so maybe... Can I say that faith is also an outstanding vocalist? No, she is. She's my Brian yeah. McKnight for women. Oh, is that what you really? Yeah, yeah. Faith? yeah I, I, I love. I'm not mad at that. I love. I'm not mad at that. I love, I'm I'm that. I, I love Faith. Yes. No, she has an amazing tone. I'm not yeah, mad at that. I, I don't faith. know if I'm. Re- I don't know if I'm ready to go all the way to Brian McKnight, but okay. She's my. She's my female top. Really? Singer. Yeah. Okay. It's something Brand- about the soulfulness. What about Brandy? Is she in there? Uh, Brandy is dope. Brandy is really dope, but she's not as good of a singer as Faith. And Brandy I'm gonna tell you yes. somebody. The performer is by hands down uh, the sweating. The sweating chick, uh, Fantasia. Yeah, okay, first of all, we're not going to call her the sweating chick. We're not going to call no, her the sweating chick. No, she sweats like a motherfucker. you've ever seen her live, when I've them seen shoes her come off, I have seen her sweating. live. Her silk shirt is almost see-through. Well, she goes, she commits. She no, commits that's, to the that's performance. Not, that's a great word, but it's something. What's, what's higher than commits? <laughs> <laughs> she 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 gives it her all. Yeah, but she faith. Goes in. If I were to say overall, faith yeah. is that person. But you know, That's Brandy is Brandy's got dope songs, and I love her. Yeah. And Fantasia kills the stage. But yeah, okay. I'm sorry. Go back. Faith, no, no, big yeah. and fake and faith and all that. I'm just saying. Do you think that, that some men, there's an yes. idea that when you get a certain level of success, this is what the woman should look like? Steve Harvey. I, I that's still not can't even, talk that's about not this. A, that's not even a. I'm, but I'm saying, like, he's well, not let answering. Me be, he's let not. me be. Let me. Is that idea there? Yes, the idea is there. I'll also go as far as to say that some of these men, mm-hmm. that especially those that are doing that, mm-hmm. they couldn't pull those women when they were broke. Absolutely. And so, it, and it's, if a it's, bigger it's, one comes almost, along, she may run along. It's it's the it, it it's the the fast car, right? It's the big house and the mixed it's woman. The yeah. That's a sad thing. Fake it's chick. Yeah. It's sad. Well, I don't know. I don't yeah. know if she's fake. She just she can't uh, help that she's biracial. Can we can we get off this soapbox because you're tripping? I'm tripping. How is that sad? So a dude can't go for whatever the best is he can get, but women do it. On, broke women do it. Yeah. Why is it the best? Why is it the best? But, it's, a, it's just in his opinion. He feels like that's what he wants to do. Why is it that you that you can be a broke I'm just woman asking what's sitting on your couch? A man, it? a man that has money doesn't care no. what the woman makes. No, but a woman that has money won't even look at a man. We're talking about that's men not making and biracial women. We're I, not talking about women and money right uh, now. You didn't ask me, but I don't necessarily. No, I, I don't necessarily uh, think. I don't necessarily think that um, a black guy getting a white woman means he's got the best. What I'm saying is, is that when a black guy reaches a certain level, he's going to go for whatever he he thinks the best is, and that should be okay because women do it from the bottom. Y'all I, start at the bottom okay, and do I'm that. Okay, but I'm saying to, to you, not to you because you are biracial, so I don't, I don't expect you to be able to really I have no give an objective. No, I just don't know if you could give an objective answer because you are, it's nothing wrong with being biracial, so you can't but I'm just saying side. if you had a, a, a black daughter, you and your fiancé get married, you guys have a black daughter. Do you think that it's cool to know that if at a certain level, if a man has a certain amount of money, she's not considered the best because that's not you. You get rid of that that one and you I go think, get one that is of mixed race. I think people choose people choose a mate based on different values. For example, LeBron James stay with his high school sweetheart. Right, didn't matter how much money he made. Right, right. He's a stellar example. I think he. I think I heard he did that. With Beyonce. We all heard that. And I'm, I'm, I've seen that on social <laughs> We've media all as well. Heard that but I think that relationship is based out of love. Right. Right? Whereas someone else, they may choose to go for uh, 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 Tristan Thompson. Tristan, yeah. Might want a Kardashian. Yeah. Right? He knew he wouldn't get no Kardashian if he wasn't playing ball. We all know he wouldn't have a Kardashian if he wasn't playing ball. Right, right. Right? Right. But, and we also know it ain't no love there. I'm just asking as a hotep, do you feel like you have <laughs> to... A hotep. No, I'm saying, do you feel like you should be well, educating... <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I think that that's a, that's a negative, like, belief system that we have in our culture. Some of us, not all of us. And I think that men, if if men say to other men, oh, that woman is beautiful. I'm not saying that Kim Kardashian is not beautiful, but Gabrielle Union is just as beautiful. You know what I mean? Or, I mean... Your your taste may you know everyone's preference is mm-hmm. different, but I'm just saying across the board they're both attractive enough right. to where there it's should a choice. be this idea that right. when I get to this level, this is the type of woman that this is this is what accompanies this tax bracket. Can I please say something, uh, Kevin? Of course, I'm just. Of Do course. you really believe that a dude would not upgrade to Gabrielle Union? 
Do you really think that he would turn down a Gabriel Union type black woman? No, but I think there are a lot of Gabriel Union. I don't think anybody's leaving Gabriel Union. But mm. I think that for Kim white Kardashian. Girl. You? I think that nah. Kim Kardashian. I think you have some some ignorant black men, not personalities involved. If they see Kim Kardashian and they see Gabriel Union, they think Kim Kardashian on their arm makes them look like the man. I don't agree. I, yeah. see, I, don't think, I think Gabrielle Union has hit that 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 niche. Like I she's hope so. she's one of those ones where she upgrades you, right? When you get with her, I hope so. I'm, but I'm not talking about even. I don't see, even, I don't see Dwayne Wade leaving her for a white girl unless he just liked the white girl already, right? I don't see him saying, you know what, mm, this is good, but if I had me a white chick or a r- racially ambiguous chick. But I'm not really talking winning. about her because she's a celebrity. I'm just saying the look. So if you just get a regular pretty black girl in a in a pretty Eurasian or whatever, Blasian girl. Right. I'm saying that. I'm not talking about well, who's who's upgrading to a regular ass white woman though. But I'm not even talking about white women. I'm talking about exotic. Okay. I just feel exes. like no matter no matter what type of woman you like or ethnicity, nationality, whatever you like, just get the best one. If you if you like somebody dark skin, go get you a Bria Miles. If you want somebody more light skin, go get you uh, a, another. Okay, yeah, yeah Jessica. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was thinking of somebody else, and I couldn't say the name once it came to my uh, whatever. I'm but. just saying the idea that you see men, you see they start out with a woman that looks like this, and as they get higher up, the women lose more melanin. But that's do they are they prettier though? See, that's the question y'all don't ask. But you know what? They said that when when Michael Jackson took Brooke Shields to the Grammys. Guess what? what? There's only I'm saying at a certain economic level, mm-hmm. you might start like now you might start mm-hmm. to see more of us. But who are you gonna be around? But you more just said of? that men are not men don't care about a woman's economic level. That's not what they care about. They care about the look. Yeah, but women care about the access. And let's be for real. Women of a lighter complexion are going to be able to get in those rooms. Why? More often. Why? I don't know about that. Why? Because because they don't tell their dark-skinned friends. That's why. That's... Come on. Come on with it. Be, be brave. Man. Be brave. I am being brave. They, they don't, don't tell, tell their dark, dark skin friends. What are you th- talking those about? Women, those women that get access to the Tiger Woods and all the football players and all that shit, they don't tell their dark skin friends. They do. The dark they skin don't. friends can't get in because nobody wants them there. They, it's not that not, Are you seriously think we just not agree? telling them? I, I want to Did we just agree and you don't even realize it? I'm just saying, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't, I don't want to play with it. Let's just say They don't even tell them girls where the party at. They just see the Instagram and be like, girl, why you ain't tell me. They, oh, well, you no, know. it's not that. Every girl goes and they say, hey, you, you come on. You, oh, no. No, thank you. We're full. They're, it's just, it's the idea. They do have more access because that's the look that says I've arrived. And that's a problem. Is it a problem? Maybe or is it's just the a way problem it is. for me because I'm a brown skinned black girl who yeah. speaks up for other black girls. Or just a brown skinned black girl. Mm-hmm. So you feel like you're on the other side of the of the, the door. Well, it is. There's that. There's that stigma. But you're supposed to feel like there. that. Yeah. But so I can. I have a right to say that because I know that that's what's cons- that's that is something that is definitely an issue. Okay. Well, let me tell you another issue. Then there's something you said on the show. You have a problem with short guys. Yeah. They're on the outside of that same door. It's just a different mm-hmm. door, but it's the same thing. Why? Why is your face changing? I don't, I don't understand why your face is <laughs> I'm changing. I'm gonna keep the same energy. I'm gonna keep okay. the same energy. So, so, so what I'm saying is, is that for a guy who is short, right? He just has to get over the shit, right? Because it's nothing. You're, it's not gonna change. No matter how fine get he is or, or whatever you sure. bring, you're still like, well, I just really don't do short guys, and and, and that's really silly. But I understand. It's not silly. That's a silly thing to say. It's just as silly as saying, well, brown skin girls don't really belong inside this door either. It's silly. But it's the way that it, it is. is. It is. And it if is. you think that tall is attractive and right. short is not attractive, the only thing short people can do is just die. Because there's nothing <laughs> else they can do to please no, you. No, I agree with that. I agree with that. Except and get the rich. only the alt right. Get <laughs> right. and then that, and then he stands he is on the so money. much sex. What's up? It's all about him. It's, right. now. it's the million dollars. <laughs> no, but I I I agree. And you're right. Those are all fair physical characteristics. Right. But for this one. And and it, and I may be hypocritical. It's because you. No, it isn't that. It's, 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 I have a lot of other things about me that that are not that some, it wouldn't be someone's cup of tea. But that is an intra-racial issue for African Americans. I'm short too. I'm sure some guys don't like. I'm thick. There's a lot of things that I have going on that some guys aren't going to like. But skin color to me is a problem in our in our culture. That's all I'm saying. I mean, yeah, everybody. Some girls have long hair. Some guys don't like weave. It's all. 
It's all kinds of reasons that <laughs> it's all kinds of reasons that someone may have a different preference. But when this is something that's been taught, sounds the same to know. me. No, it isn't. I don't. I don't know if this this perceived Tall racism, like which side of the paper bag test you fall on. I don't know that's if a that's whole as big as a documentary, though. Yeah, but I don't know if that's a bigger problem than classism. I don't think classism comes into relationships with men and women. Men don't care. What? Men will take a, a slave servant girl as long as she's fine. They don't care. As long as she's There's fine. no classism in, Got to in that. Be. They will see a chick at the bus stop and be like, hey, I'm going to make her a Wait, star. that's not true. This is what Kevin, I think this is what Kevin was kind of getting at earlier. Yes, to a certain extent, a dude will date a, a fry cook at McDonald's. Right. If she's fine. Right. However, once you get to that other tax bracket... Now you're now you have a different responsibility, mm -hmm. right? And it's no longer about oh I can just I, like right now I'm not dating a chick that works at Walmart. It's just that's just sorry. Like women love that that pretty woman with Richard Gere. Y'all yeah. love that oh I just come from the streets and he just took me on this shopping spree. <laughs> do and women just love it? Gave or me do this men whole love princess? Because men I know guys that go to the strip club and be like man if I man like. I mean, she she dudes like to save girls. No, strippers. when you get to a certain level, it's about pedigree now, though. It's about I pedigree. Know. What level is that? When you get to that other tax bracket, how when you, many? I don't know, because there's a lot of very wealthy men that have that are dating women that are not dating. Okay, I'll mm. give you that. I'll it's give you a that. different pedigree when you get up dating to that. I'll give you that. I'll right. give you that. You get mm. to that level. It's not about who's on your arm. It's about who you're bringing who makes home the best sense. and who's going to be your your mother, Partner. your kids. Right. What her family lineage is. Who right. who who does she go home young, to? I don't know that young people think that way though. I don't. I think that there's a very different idea on family and you know how many like we were talking about with with uh, Obama's daughter like. Yeah, they're thinking that, okay, this is this is a guy that is a good fit for her. Yeah, but Sasha ain't going to be able to get no regular dude from Chicago. Yeah, she's dating a British guy that's from, you know, some type of very elite right. family. But I just don't think the average, you know, middle class African American or not or person, period, is thinking about that now. Maybe not. They're gonna, people they're just gonna, want what they like. For now, they're going to have fun. But when we're talking about when we're talking mm -hmm. about really rising to that next level, when they're actually like worth, a Jay Z and Beyonce type, when they're worth mm -hmm. something, you have to protect things, and you can't just have a fry cook running around your mansion who who has running like around. who there's has certain, keys. Well, yeah, there's just <laughs> like she can be a come certain, hang out. <laughs> certain characteristics there that you look for. Like you mean tell me that G, that Jay Z couldn't have pulled Kim Kardashian if if that's what he wanted. I think he Simple. probably pulled quite a few people. He could pull her if now. If that's what he wanted. Yeah, he could pull her now. He may have. We don't know. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just saying we don't know. We don't know what that's just That is not even a rumor. She just said that. I'm just that's, saying we don't know. Right, we, don't we don't know anything. I'm like, don't start that, man. No, I don't, I'm sure I don't need has. no Rock Nation attorneys on my ass. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sure he... I'm, I don't think they have the same... I don't think they would be equally yoked. Let me say that. Yeah. I think that Kim and Kanye are a great match. And right. Jay-Z and Beyonce are a great right. match. But I'm just saying we don't but know. Not, but I'm saying to say that it wasn't about the money... There, it would be more about the chemistry. There, the I think chemistry is and and you know sometimes people just want what they and want. Somebody until don't they give don't you the right anymore. vibe. You know, until they don't. Anymore. Money don't always buy you the right vibe. No, it doesn't. But okay, so to close this out, what do you guys think is it on the Nabs Nas situation? Nabs got what he asked for. He hey, sorry kid. It's part of the game, man. Ten yard man. penalty. Yeah. It's part. That's it's all, all part of the like game. That's game, right? And and don't be doing all them. Uh, I don't. I know this 2018, but all them interviews. Yeah, man. I just want y'all to know the real <laughs> truth. Man, nobody give a shit, man. And like, yeah, I don't no think letters. Cares. Just no yeah, letters. just go get you another chick, man. Right. So I, you know, nurse your wounds. She broke my heart. But hey, I mean, man, why, write a why song. wouldn't he just think? Oh man, maybe this is. Maybe this means I should apologize. Maybe I should really, and I'm not. I'm sure he has apologized to his wife or whatever. But why wouldn't he assume maybe this may be just part of you know what this may be part of the the process? He must. Th and you know what? There's DJ Nabs here. I think your example <laughs> shall serve as a lesson for lesson. many men out there. And that lesson is: don't listen to your dick. Your dick is not in charge of making. Good decisions. Men are never going to heed that call. Never. Can't listen to you, <laughs> never. Never. never gonna, there have been. There some, have been works. some of the best pussy decisions. I ever had is the pussy I passed up. I swear to God. Dicks have been making decisions since <laughs> before man. time, and they that have always the way this made works. bad decisions, and they will no, continue. No, not always. Not hey, always. Man. Just how many, find a way to separate many, it. How many, how many examples in history involve a man making a really stupid decision over a woman? 
All of them, but thousands. Exactly. But, but, but the, <laughs> by the same one. token, a lot of good decisions are made because of a woman, too. Okay. Well, Unless awesome. you're saying women are evil, go ahead and finish I'm that I'm definitely statement. not saying that. We are the, we are the alpha and omega. <laughs> black woman is God. Can't be the alpha because it requires something. I don't something. even say black woman. I just think women, period. Women but are just amazing. Black women can't just have a baby on their own, though. So it's, I mean, it's, you, I mean we kind of cool. do. Mm-hmm. We sometimes y'all cool. do. No, you don't. Mm-hmm. When? I think so. Tell me about the, the, fake, the fake story about the immaculate thing. No, I wasn't talking about. I'm just saying, like, if you if you get some sperm and get he's it. not involved in anything else, and I think if you look in nature, you'll find different species of animals that give birth on their own and have kind of. I a think blended that women have been doing it, especially like white. a seahorse. They've been doing it for years. Aha, they, hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> Black men, I don't know. Was he there? Was he not there? I don't know. All I know is I'm look raising these kids and I did a great job by myself. I don't know. That sucks. That's was awful. he there or not? I don't know. I'm saying that's not what we want. That's I don't again, listeners. No more letters. That's what I'm we're not, saying. I'm not saying that you know black women or any women should have kids by themselves. There are some awesome. This is two examples of two awesome men that are great fathers and very responsible. But if you so happen to get one of those, from, I'm from a single parent household, so I don't know about you. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So obviously, it doesn't always. It's usually not. Huh? Most most single parent uh, men around the world start now jumping somebody <laughs> because they're That's too so emotional just, to just walk away that from is it. So messed up. I gotta up. prove. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah, nabs and other dudes. Stop writing letters, man. Come on. Just take your L, man. She took her L, and she, you know, hopefully this makes Jessica her feel better. is gonna take her L eventually. I, I'm not talking about Jessica. I'm talking about the wife. She did it, and she handled it with class. Cause she actually is the one that could. Don't know that you're still doing it. She we don't did. know. We don't know her her contribution. I don't know, the fact that, I don't the know fact that, she that she even didn't took put it out. I don't know that she even right. took it. You know what? L, That's man. a good point. She did not take it. She did not. As quiet as she if, is, if you gonna be married to somebody and they ain't gonna be, they ain't gonna do you right. Then you need to leave. Hey man. Shake. No, oh, that's not awesome. I'm saying she probably made some kind of compensation in this whole thing. It wasn't like she well, just disappeared. Hope. It's not like she just, you know, vanished into obscurity. I'm sure she she's taken right. care of. Let's hope. Yeah. Let's hope. Let's hope that I'm sure those, those dreads look clean. Like whatever that maybe is. She, and I, let's hope that love finds her. And she eating. probably somewhere comfortable in a nice car, eating not good food, With and a laughing. Nice look alike. She's laughing smiling. about how Nabs played himself. Notice the Ha-ha, wife. The wife is smiling, get. and Jessica is not in the picture that you provided us. Yeah. Where are their IGs? I need to. <laughs> I, w- I want to see who has more followers. I, you know what? I don't know that. I don't even know that the wife has or the ex-wife has an IG. She's just a good woman. Just a. Good I don't know. If she's good at all. We don't know. <laughs> she's just smiling. We don't know anything about her. But she I could mean, be an just, awful fucking person. No, absolutely. He wouldn't have married her. Who what? marries an awful person? You, what? People don't marry. Tina Turner awful. married an awful person. What are you <laughs> well, talking about? It happens did. all the time. She did. You marry awful people? <laughs> she did. What? She did. Tina Turner. That's like saying nobody <laughs> likes terrible music. Have you heard the radio? There's plenty terrible music. <laughs> That's funny. I'm just saying. It's there. Yeah, well, Tina Turner married a terrible person that made her a star. So there was, you know, there was a give and take there. So the name you- stays here. Hey Amen. <laughs> so you're 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 okay with the whole? No, I'm not saying oh. that. I'm just saying that obviously we see why she made the the bad decision. I mean, there was a huge perk attached. Mm. So you- did you know that Tina Turner actually used to mess with one of the people in the band before she got to Ike? She too upgraded, much like yeah. Jessica. Why not? Did you know that? I, I didn't, didn't know that. I didn't. Well, it wasn't in the movie. It wasn't because it was told from her perspective. It would have been put in a bad light for me. Man, yo, that would have that changed everything. That right. would, that like she deserved that ass woman. Hey. Not deserve. Never. We never. <laughs> Tina Turner was fucking the drama before right. she got the height. <laughs> never. Never, never, never. Yeah. No, you know what? This that this actually And brings... that drummer kept his mouth quiet this he entire did. time. He did. Yo, I salute you, drummer. I'm saying, when did yo, men start somebody get a drummer like something. this? Is this what's happening? Is this what's coming up because of yeah. social media? Now men are going to start to be well, like. Well, Nav is old school, so I don't know what the hell is going on. He's hurt. He's yeah, in but his feelings. damn, he was in his feelings. But you I gotta, hope, you gotta I, cry somewhere in a car by yourself, or you know what I'm saying? Like, get a friend. Talk to your social. Yeah, get a friend and, 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 and like, go cry with them. Like, don't yeah. don't write a letter. That's mm. and put page six. Paperwork is always bad. You know, black people talking about snitching and stuff. Paperwork is always bad. I, I just, I don't I, know, man. Just, 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 just be sad. Self medicate. Just don't answer your phone. Smoke some weed? Hell yeah. Speaking of smoking weed, I saw that you have decided no longer to use the Dutch Masters. Yeah, man. I'm I'm, kind of grieving over it, actually. 
What is it that Dutch Masters do, has been doing for you over the last... I'm out of my depth. <laughs> what exactly have they provided for you, Kevin? Dutch Masters created a slow-burning cigar mm-hmm. that I enjoyed. Okay. And, and, and others whom have smoked enjoy it as well. Okay. All right. Okay. Why isn't everybody using Dutch Masters in? Because I see every time um, I'm at the gro- I mean the the gas station, they come in and get the Swisher Sweets, like the yeah, little. Yeah, I thought the Swishers. Were I mean, more, everybody, like, every every popular. every smoker has their, and I actually I like weed smokers more than cigarette smokers, but that's different. But everyone has their own preference. Some people like Swishers, some people like White Owls, some people like Iron. Dutches, some people like Backwoods. Okay. It it depends. Some people like Can papers. Can I tell you that white papers. Backwoods is also owned by Dutch Masters. So if that was your go-to, you don't want to do that. Didn't know that. You're Thank welcome. you. What's wrong with Dutch Masters? Okay. So <laughs> the the story was is that one night I was smoking and I happened to look at the package. And matter of fact, I'll, I'll show you a picture of the package. You'll see, you can see. So I'm looking at the package and I realize they got these little guys here at the bottom. And I was like, wait that's, a second. When you said Dutch Masters, that's, that's what I thought about. Those guys. Yeah. yeah. Dutch Dutch people. White that's guys I, with the big hats and why did, from why, Holland, right? Why is that just now what you're thinking about? Well, because it said Dutch Masters and, and all of a sudden I said Dutch Masters. Man, that's probably slave master. Probably. You, I mean, <laughs> Were you high when you said that? Yes, I was. Okay, all right. And then I immediately said, oh, shit, they probably are. I am smoking So I slave did masters. a little Googling. Right. I went to the Dutch Masters website, okay. their official site, and they said that the men on their package are actually artists who were thriving, like painters, okay. who were thriving during the Dutch Golden Age. Okay. And if you have, have ever learned anything or done, or done any research about the Dutch Golden Age, this is when uh, the Dutch became rich okay. during the 16 and 17, 1800s, um, largely due to trade, okay. right? Trade via ships. Okay. Right, so then, right, so then I'm I'm <laughs> connecting the dots on those here. Ships? <laughs> were you there damn right there on were. Ships? I don't understand how you, you didn't damn get right that. There how were. did you get that day one? Like I looked at when when you said Dutch Masters, I immediately thought of those those guys. Mm-hmm. Like that's the the logo that's and all their of logo, it. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, that's I didn't think about cigar. I thought about that picture. Like that stands out to me. Well, but did it say and, slave and that's just it. And see if you know what else would master mean. Well, and if you that. notice, it's kind of like here on the package, they've kind of blued out their faces along. So, I mean, you see them, right. but they're not pronounced, right? Uh, uh, they look like they hung out with George Washington. They're like oak, like uh, Quaker Oats. Right, nigga. Yeah, they George like, Washington. <laughs> they look like Quaker the, Oats. I thought it was like Quaker. Pilgrims. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. This is getting worse they by the minute. They were, yes, they were steering the Nina, the Pinta, and, and San Santa Maria, Maria, and, you know, Good Ship Jesus and wherever else slaves were delivered on. Did you have to say Good Ship Jesus? So the weed don't, don't taste as good now? Uh, it tastes better in a different cigar. Do you he th- doesn't want to support. Now, do you uh, think- so, yeah, because, because of that... Has it been in our faces the entire time? Yes. Mm-hmm. But I just, for whatever reason, put two and two together Again, and, and had were, an aha moment. You were high, moment. You were high at yeah. this moment? Okay. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, because I had an, an aha moment, then I, I felt it necessary to share to with share. others my research. Right. And say, yeah, they're really kind of tied into that. And even, the, e- even once the slaves were here in America— mm-hmm. Of course, everybody knows they pick cotton. Right. Some people may not know tobacco was like the next best crop. It was. Especially in Virginia. I think a lot of people... You yeah. heard of Virginia Slims, right? It was a lot of tobacco being picked. It looks like you're not going to have any options. I'm, you're going to have to stop smoking how much, totally. How much did you invest I, I, I How much you invest into slavery? I don't know. I mean, how much did I invest? You're a shareholder. <laughs> you're a shareholder of slavery. How over, much did the, you invest? over the last <laughs> at hey least man, 10 years. You're going to get fired the from hotels. Deeper, the deeper you <laughs> research. First off, he lets in our Kim, Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Yeah. Yeah. No then it's anybody that has any skin other than, yeah, than black. perfectly and then pale white, white skin. And right. now. Because trust me, the world is, is, is topsy turvy, man. <laughs> you think it's one way and then boom, it's totally different. So are you one of the Dutch masters? Now, 
<laughs> you kind of paid into this. How, um, it sounds like it was your favorite I, I, favorite. I actually, I should have stock in in Dutch Slavery. masters. I in, should in black people. I should. He, I, you know, you know I should probably own stock in in. Like, so are you a slave master? Then, How, like, <laughs> kind of. I, I feel guilty for having supported some. Yeah. How That's, do you keep this from happening again? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. How do you stop it? <laughs> all all I could do is not smoke duchess. Okay, or, or backwards. Or backwards. Yeah, and you may want to do some more research. Probably all of it. And, all and you know what? Maybe, maybe Dutch Masters has a, a rebuttal. Maybe there's something that they want to say about... Maybe it's just a name. Because, I mean, black people have some weird names. Look at some of these rappers' names. Like, some of them are really pretty bad names. But are they mm. names that would suggest... Uh, Wreaking havoc well, on the Rockefeller t- was a whole record company. I mean, Rockefeller yeah, they took that from that's that, they, that's not they, the same. They, yeah, they uh, but you think that. Dutch Masters? You think those people are even Dutch? I'm sure they're not. Yeah, well, those they're, are apples and prunes. I'm sure that Dutch <laughs> Masters. I'm sure that nobody apples. who owns Dutch Masters is Dutch or a master. I believe they just they liked the idea that black well, people that, sold on ships. There's, there's so Why many- do white people always? Oh, it's just innocent. It's just a quinky dink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm you, sure they just, it's just something they liked. Well, that's what, you, when I said Rockefeller, it was like, oh, no, that's nothing. No, I'm just saying, but that's, that's a, that's them taking the name from someone else. Like, it's just, nah. nah. I don't see how it's different. The Rockefellers and Rockefeller, they're not, they're, it's like, we're trying to be cool. Like when black guys have the Scarface in there, you're not, you're not Scarface. And the Dutch, we're talking, no we're talking about a whole that, country. That's mm-hmm. not. Not a family name. We're sure, about- I mean you can you can go to a nuclear level and make mm-hmm. them different, but it's the same thing. <laughs> Man, but yeah, the Dutch were heavily involved in slavery and all that. So you know, and so are you. It it if if well, felt I hope awkward. that you will uh, take this information and it will stop you from spending evenings just smoking. I think you should take six months off. Yeah, I do from time to time. Actually, yeah. I, I think people oversmoke. Almost like, I almost think, like. Yeah. Speaking of over smoking, I saw um, the movie, and I think that I would have enjoyed it more if I was high. Did you guys see what is it? It's oh my gosh! It is the. Um, it's kind of like Get Out. It's before it's I. It's not the Incredibles. No, no. Which actually I found to be incredible. No, the Incredibles is awesome. It's. I don't want to disturb you. The guy that was in Get Out. Come uh, on, don't. Guys. Um, don't. Sorry to bother you. Sorry to bother sorry you. To bother oh you. my god. Oh my god. I could not remember the name. Sorry, but sorry to bother, to bother you. you. Actually, I, I want to see that. I haven't seen it yet. That's in theaters. We're going to talk about it next week. Then. Okay. That, that's in theaters. Yeah, and and it's in theaters. Is it on and Fire Stick? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a Fire Stick. I saw it. I went to see it at Atlantic Station with a couple of my classmates. Shout out to D Glove and Tony Brown. We went and and I think if I had been high, I would have really enjoyed it because I was sitting there like this. Isn't it about code is, switching and black people using their white voice to get ahead? You have no idea. You think you know, but you have no idea. I don't want to spoil it. It's more than that. So we're going to come back and talk about it when you guys have seen it. Hopefully okay. it's on Fire Stick. You're probably not going to see it. You'll see it. We'll talk about it. He'll chime in. Okay. <laughs> but it's by this, this, this Boots, this producer, music guy that I, I wasn't aware of him, but I looked him up a little bit and I, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. Okay, if you so guys have seen it, you will. De- if you haven't seen awful it, awful teaser. Definitely get high before you see. Sorry to bother you. It'll ha- it'll be a totally different experience. I'm surprised you said that. That's not it's illegal. It's not illegal. Weed is definitely illegal. No, it isn't. Not okay. if you have a card. In Atlanta, you can have a medical card, and it's not illegal. In Atlanta, yeah. Okay. Any, I mean, where else? No, it's not legal here. It is legal. It's legal as long as you have a medical card. You agree with that? No, in in Atlanta, you can't have like less than an ounce. No, that's not not the same thing. That's not the same thing. It's not criminal as far as being. It is criminal. You have to to pay a fine. Yeah, but it's not like you're going to get locked up. Before, it was like you can go to felony charges for less. Right, but do I mean, but do you understand you have to accept? You have to accept the conviction in order to pay that fine. I don't know. I don't smoke weed. I don't know. That's not my thing. I mean, I'm just saying people people assume that oh, it's just it's less than an ounce. I just got to pay the fine. But paying the fine is saying I'm guilty and right. I'm, I'm convicted right. of this it's crime. It's like no low con, no low contendere. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like Janessa who whatever that junk is. Smirly. No, we should know if they they tell. I don't you say to- that. I would never be able to plead that because I'm too manly to say a word like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't speak no Latin. That's In court or otherwise. What, what, you just speak American? Yes. That's what Alrighty I thought. Then. See, Alrighty then. Now, this is America. <laughs> right. You speak American. America. Exactly. Did you see the, the Charlemagne? <laughs> 
situation happened. I've heard about it. Me too. I've heard about it. Is, is it real? Is it real or is it a stretch? Something that happened. Uh, to Leonard McKelvey? Ain't that his name? Uh, okay. Something like that. Yeah. Is it a stretch though, or is it's it? It's not a stretch. I mean, it's, it's actual court documents. But he he got he already did his time for it, though, yeah, right? Yeah, he was so twenty three. So it's over, right? It's over. So what we're trying to do now is just heard his name. I don't know. I think that. I don't know who is behind all these Me Too things that are trying. It's almost like something strange is happening. Like we were talking about before, like with even with Nas, like people wanting there to be negative, right. negative feelings about a lot of people. It's like, but I, I mean, with Nas though, he was never convicted of anything, never. so he could actually get in trouble for what he did. But okay. with, with this situation, it's already happened. Yeah. He's already paid the penalty. Yeah. Basically, they're just saying that he's a hypocrite for the way he talks about other people uh. because he has this. So, so this is a silencer, basically. This is a well. This is like a censure, or trying to. How do y'all? Feel? I don't know if that's karma or revenge. No, no. But how do y'all feel about growth, though? So if he's yeah. grown, if he's grown, and now he's promoting a different message, how right. do y'all feel about somebody calling up saying, "Well, we know you say you used to be like this," because right. I think it's something that he's admitted to. It's also. something he definitely had to admit to. But this is the thing: if you are a very self righteous person. And you are the one that is constantly, someone was like, you know, he's always calling other people donkey of the day. Like he has no mercy on other people for him to have. So basically if he was in his own court of, you know, he would definitely have, you know, talked badly about himself. So I I think that everybody can grow. Most of us are not doing the same things at 23 that we're doing at 40, hopefully. But if you have gone through some things, it should make you more understanding maybe. It might have made him more aware. I think the only thing that he can probably shut people up is if he makes himself donkey of the day. That would be cool. I think he should do that. He'd be okay with that, I think. I, I don't think know. he would. I, I hope so. I, I, don't, I don't, from what I've seen, I don't mm-hmm. see him. I think at, he's strong enough to do that. He doesn't that. ever yeah. shy away from criticism. He doesn't. He doesn't. So, eh, this is silly. I think that, that if someone has become a better person, I don't know if he's a better person, mm-hmm. but if someone has become a better person and they're now promoting a different, like, right. message. right. People, I, Bringing I, you, this up is kind of right. you're just strengthening the message. If you ask me, right? You're strengthening. I don't, I don't it. think yeah. that this should have brought, been brought up at all. Honestly, I think it's just, I think it's pandering, and I think people are trying to throw mud, sling mud on pretty much everybody who doesn't have any on them. I'm good point. with it coming out, but I because I think it's actually going to make the the message stronger because. Everybody goes through stuff. Everybody does stuff. None of us are innocent. Let's just say that there's no man probably on the face of the earth that hasn't at some point done something. I'm, and I'm going to bring it back around to women as well. Don't No, don't I was going to say, I haven't... I haven't I'm, you have never done anything that you think a woman felt was inappropriate? Ever. Well, see... Ha- Did you grab a girl's butt like in middle school and she didn't want... And she just, like slapped I mean, I've been, I've been yes. knuckle... I've been knuckle deep in a stripper before, but she didn't say anything at the time. Well, okay. She got tips, so I guess that's, that's the transaction. That's not the same. That's not the same. Well, it depends on which knuckle, though. I mean, which digit? Does it matter which digit? And Put it was and it wasn't vaginal. <laughs> what? Hey. What? <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Sorry, I mean. And hey, man, I just shook hey. your hand twenty minutes ago. Hey, look, we, we, feel awkward. When you drunk, why you give me the <laughs> fart touch? <laughs> what? When, you, when you're drunk, you do some silly, silly things. You do silly things when what you're drunk, are you guys. Talking? You were what? Yeah, which digit? You want to know which digit? I d- I want to. Do you want to see which finger? <laughs> hey man, it happens Again, no one is completely innocent of anything That's what I'm saying We've is, all Is that things. why your hair is so soft? <laughs> Maybe It's like exfoliation Ugh. I don't even know it what It was clean say. Do you think Do you th- It smelled clean Please, please Do you think that most <laughs> men Do you think that it's because we aren't teaching whoa, 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 whoa. men? Everybody's got these gas faces now. So, come on now. Yeah, I got my face all balled up. Because I just don't understand what happened. It's like it just happened. Like you just did it. This was years and years and years. You put the picture in my head. What was it? This is years and years and years and years ago. What was it, though? What was what? You said it wasn't vagina. Well, I mean, it wasn't her mouth. It wasn't. (laughs) <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you want more information? <laughs> so you've never, you never. I just don't understand what's happening. Dude, are we right about now? to go there? So you've never done any <laughs> anal play with it. You never like licked or kissed or. I didn't or... say that. I didn't. Okay, I didn't so say... what's the issue, I mean, I... Kevin? Are you are you a, 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 a anal righteous person too? Are you anally righteous? <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, that... my ass is right with God. <laughs> <laughs> you got right. I'm just saying. Why are we acting like okay? We're all adults, right? 
I just don't understand where that came from. Like I, I'm just, telling, I'm knuckle deep in. A I was stripper. trying to, I was trying to think of things that someone may have feel, uh, felt offended by. That could have been something that I, may have I been think offensive. That's the, I think that's the white part of you. Why? I don't know what it is. White people always want to talk about fucking somebody in the ass. Or, <laughs> whoop, whoop, they always no, 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 no. Yeah, no. that's that's a white people. Thing. I was with nothing but black people. They all did it too. What? Everybody. Everybody did the same thing. Was well, that just on I the see, menu? Now you're telling. No, now you gonna no, roll. Come now you on, gonna roll all your boys. No, I didn't say which boys, and you don't know. Was which, that just mm-hmm. on the menu? Was I'm that the, at the? At there the, were lots of fingers and lots of holes. I'm not sure which ones were which, but I know that more than one. You know what I'm saying? More than one situation happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sorry. Shout out to the Instagram audience. The glory hole. Shout, out, shout out to Goosebumps. <laughs> shout out to Goosebumps downtown Atlanta because at that time, Goosebumps was wide the fuck open. I am afraid. You could do whatever you want. I'm talking about for minimum How tips, too. How did this too. show get here? Like, I, every we, time we start out in a good way. You asked the and question. Then, but when, then we get here. I don't understand how we got here. This is not and necessarily like a bad place. turn it around because... We have listeners that, that have uh, too been at Goosebumps. I'm like, oh, shit, Goosebumps on Baker. Street. But were they knuckle deep? I mean, probably if they were in Goosebumps, because Goosebumps was one of those clubs where at, at the time, oh my God. at the time, now this was probably 94, somewhere around there. At the time, Goosebumps was trying to become one of the, the top echelon clubs. And you <laughs> well, know, they club, obviously were failing. Club Nikki, I don't know if you guys were here during Club Nikki's run. But Club Nikki had Club Nikki, Club Nikki VIP, Club Nikki Two, the Gentleman's Club. Like they ran it. Michael, whatever the guy's name was, he got it. He got in trouble for who pharmaceuticals. Are you right now? Nah, <laughs> like, who the, are you? By the time I got to Atlanta, one twelve was yeah. One twelve was closing. One twelve wasn't a strip club. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, but what I'm saying is, but Goosebumps. <laughs> so was, that was irrelevant. But Goose- that was just that was a, a time marker. <laughs> Goosebumps was really trying to get up there with Club Nikki. Okay, and they and they obviously were failing at the same time. Strokers you- was popping up out in Stone Mountain. Thank you. Okay, and so they they had a lot of competition. So the girls there just do it all, Paul. Like whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like hardly any tips. You could do pretty How much anything. How much did that cost? No, it didn't. It wasn't really a cost thing. It wasn't cost associated. There what? Were, there were, you know, a couple of tips here or there throughout the night, but it wasn't like, oh, if you give me this, you can do this. It wasn't like that. It was just here. This is here, and I'm not going to stop you from doing anything you want. And you know what? That I, is I, that is highway robbery. If as, you ask as me, as much as you've just said in the last <laughs> few minutes, I cannot just like let you speed past <laughs> what I just heard. Okay. <laughs> Who the Let's fuck is do it all, Paul? <laughs> That's just a saying. Like you know, I didn't know. That. Do it all, like, Paul. <laughs> yeah, just do it all, Paul. Like you know, like do it all, Paul. He'll do, he'll do anything. And, and see, here's the weird thing too, is because when you said that, I pictured DJ Paul with the hand Why? putting his finger. <laughs> that, that, that is not. That is not where this you're is a weirdo. All wrong. I no. thought I, you're, you were calling me a weirdo, but I'm calling him a what the hell? Hey, a man, baby you arm? came up with who do it all, Paul. Who I didn't the hell said do it all, Paul? It I'm rhymes. sure people are looking at this like, what the hell hey, are they talking about? I, no, we, I guarantee there's some Atlanta guys like, oh, goosebumps, smoke weed for you listening to this shit. Obviously, obviously. I'm saying, know you know, strip clubs in Atlanta, we were we were known for strip clubs for a while. It changed a little bit, but the <laughs> women here got completely butt bunky ass naked and they could dance and they were fine. It was a lot going on in Atlanta at the time. So the guys who are watching this who are from Atlanta, who visited Atlanta during that time, know exactly they're relating to this right now. We that's, just got we got new fans. That's stripping, but you talking about stripes. <laughs> That is not I'm that what you just described and from a group of people Amen. is not what I thought was going My on. My hands may not be the cleanest. Clearly. Please. Stop. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying who opts to do that? Like what is wrong with why would you just think, hey, here's a stripper. Let me go knuckle deep. Yep. <laughs> two digits. If y'all didn't ask, but two digits. Two digits. Well, not two digits. Two knuckles. Did, did she have a fever? Uh, no, she was ninety eight point seven. Probably she's like a tenth of the way. You know what I'm saying? She's a little warm. <laughs> she's a little warm. I like them warm though. Where are we now? <laughs> I don't know how to get back. I'm sorry. This was the wrong show. To no more topics. Post. We're at, we're at an hour. So if y'all, I if, don't have anything else. <laughs> yeah. I am. If I shut it down, I apologize. But I guarantee you, we I got. I want to end on this. What you want to end on? I think we're something we, else. We're done. You end on the ass. That's caboose. You got to end on the caboose. Listeners, <laughs> if you enjoyed this show, I'm telling you, we got new fans today. They're like this old puss ass show, but now they're like, wow. <laughs> 
They talk about real shit on this show. We just gave yeah. everyone a history lesson in Atlanta stripper Atlanta strip clubs. It didn't just, start there. From what I heard, the seventies Peace Street Street was entirely strip clubs and clubs. Like well, the I'm entire so sorry thing. that you weren't able. To. And it was like you walk out of one and walk in another. It's like all night long, the entire Peace Street. I, I wasn't alive back then. Oh, but. like the entire anal community is <laughs> is on YouTube. Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I've been missing out on this show. No, it's not about anal. It's just, it's like, okay, so when you're a guy in a strip club, you're like, what can I get away with in here? Like, what's the most I could, what's the most okay. I could do? Okay, so I'm, I'm assuming that this is not about <laughs> sexual gratification. No. This is just about, like, truth or dare. How far can I go? Mm, what can it's I immature. Get away with? I'm not saying it's mature at right. all. Okay. But a guy goes to a strip club, I'm like, you know what? I'm not just going to tip all my money away tonight. I'm going to see what I can get for this money. That's that's kind of the guy's mentality walking to a strip club, and if you end up knuckle deep in somebody, eh, she it was a trade off. I had to get some money, but you know what I'm saying. She I, got some. I cannot picture myself having that conversation. Like, man, I spent more than I wanted to. But <laughs> at least I put a finger in her ass. Exactly. I could sleep better with that. Exactly. Because who does that, right? You like now you got a story to tell. We had a story. The end. The end of this show <laughs> was powerful because of no, that story. No, no, no. But I, my I experience just, I, is, I was able to share with our listeners. I just wonder, and I've 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 actually wondered this before. Like, okay. Do you at all wonder, like, what is in that orifice? Like, the same is thing it, as everybody else's. Is it healthy? Probably is it not. clean? I wash my hands. At, you know what I'm saying? Like, is I took that there, home with me. Are there fluids is that it clean? Are, is okay. it clean? In the words of Tiffany Haddish, it's a booty hole. <laughs> we're done. We're out. And we're going to... It's a <laughs> booty hole. Like, share, subscribe. I'm telling you, people people are not as offended as you think they are. Hey, man, log out and wash your hands. Log no, out. No, I'm so sorry. This is years Why ago. Why did we go on Instagram with this? You wanted to do that. I right? did. Instagram wait, TV. Wait, wait till you see the comments. I don't even, <laughs> I don't, I can't imagine. I'm still like, how did we get there? Hey, man. Maybe. I'm Atlanta. I'm, I'm, I'm. Hey, look, somebody commented, nothing but peaches. <laughs> It's all peachable. What was that? What was that? Uh, what was that little? Uh, I guess marketing campaign that Atlanta Hawks were doing, where they had all Atlanta rappers come in. They were saying something. It was like some hashtag Atlanta something. That's me though. We're done. <laughs> Chris was walking away from the mic. So like, share, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Music of life. <laughs>